Welcome everybody for the first episode of Rock Off. We're out here today. We're celebrating the best of the NHRU. We're about to get rucked and rock on for a good time throughout the entire 2016 competition. It is the Rams NHRU Premiership competition as titled this year. And with us, our first guest of the year. We've taken over number two. We're bringing it back for the people. It is Andy Fairful. Andy Fairful, he's the master of corporate takeovers and he's also moonlighted in the hit series Californication <laughs> as Charlie Runkle. Andy, how are you? I'm, I'm great, thanks, Gareth. Thanks for that introduction. Isn't, he's the premature ejaculator in Californication, isn't he? Yeah, we didn't talk about your sex life, but we are going to talk about the rugby, Andy. But it, I'm not sure how you are in the bed, but I'm told you are from the Eastwood Club, so we know, we know what they're about, mate. Anyway, we'll get to the NHRU <laughs> competition. It's been a big off season. How, how's things looking planning wise, mate? Oh, look, I, I can't wait for the kickoff on Saturday. It's um, been quite a long off season with, uh, with a few dramas around competition structures and point systems and under 19s and things like that. So it's been quite a, a long off season uh, that way, but really, really looking forward to the, the, the ball to be kicked off on Saturday and the, the rugby results on the park to be the main issue. Well, you talk about the dramas. We all love a drama. We love to get on the online forums. <laughs> and how's it been? Don't read, don't read online forums. You'll neck yourself. The uh, look, obviously, uh, people are passionate about rugby. Clubs are passionate about rugby. A lot of volunteers involved. So uh, change, whether it's uh, right changes or changes that aren't, aren't right yet, um, cause anxiety and and competition structures and things like that are change, and and, and that does cause anxiety amongst a lot of people. Yeah, definitely. What about yourself? You don't look like someone that gets phased too much. Oh, mate, I, I didn't have much hair before I started in the role, and now whatever hair, if I let it dig grow without shaving it, it's a little bit greyer. Down there for dancing, they say. <laughs> Can't comment. <laughs> As we, we get into the season, it's going to be a good one, a bumper year. We've made a few changes this year. Of course, Bar TV covering uh, all games again. How do you think the competition's going to go itself? Oh, I, I think the competition will, be, uh, will have a bit more competition in it this year than, than last year. Um, I believe um, some of the, the, the sides that came middle of the ladder uh, will be improved. I, I think uni will be, be improved compared to last year. I, I certainly believe Maitland will be, be improved. Not sure Jimmy Gardner's tips of where Maitland and uni are going to finish are right, but I think those two clubs will be improved. And obviously, uh, Lake Macquarie. Uh, uh, got got a, a, a greater number of players on their, their list this got year. Got a leg up? Did you, were you just about oh, to say got a leg up, mate? You've been you've been <laughs> speaking to the wrong people. <laughs> uh, no, I think I think uh, Lake Macquarie will uh, cause some upsets this year. I believe with with their roster and, and their new structures out there. Um, so a bit more competition. Although the pundits are telling me, the experts in town are telling me, Wanderers, Hamilton, Murrayville will be the, the, the you know the top three. That's the, what they're telling me. The top three, the big three. The, well, the Bermuda Triangle of rugby. I'll just say the big three. They put, they put a lot of, they've got a lot of resources in rugby, volunteers, money, the stuff that they put in, you know, they, they do put most of the resources into uh, the rugby, so big three is probably right. So tell me, I know, I know my position's a volunteer position, and <laughs> you, you probably are the, the hardest working volunteer in the NHRU. Andy. No, mate, I, I'm an employee, so I am paid, so uh, I, I'm one of the few that I suppose get money out of the game, I suppose. Yeah, very good. And of course, you, you're bringing in the new website and everything as well. Talk us through that. Yeah, so look, we, we had a couple of, um, of, of objectives to bring in this year. So uh, one was to, I suppose, go into the second full year of, of Bar TV filming every game for judiciary as well as um, uh, coaching purposes of player analysis and tactics analysis. So this is our second full year of doing that. Um, uh, bringing the, the new website in there to update it meant that we had another avenue to, to stream to and potentially sell to to uh, spots to sponsors, which in order to um, ensure that the game doesn't get too expensive on clubs anymore, the more that we can generate in sponsorship and partnerships like that, it keeps the game cheaper at the club level, which is obviously objective of ours. Um, but obviously this, the ruck off show that we're, we're now doing is the next extension um, in order to try and uh, um, monetize the, the, the game that we've got and um, attract more sponsors. Of course, mentioning sponsors, Rams coming on board as the ma major partner this year. Uh, Luke Brown and Brendan Trummel and, and, and the rest doing a great job for Newcastle Rugby Union. Oh, look, I mean, at the launch last night, they were, um, they were announced as a, th a three-year partnership deal. Um, you know, grassroots rugby doesn't, doesn't happen without support like that, and the support that they've come in on that three-year deal is amazing. Um, you know, in Bill Pulver's speech last night, he, he recognised the, the likes of those companies supporting grassroots. So really, really important. 
Um, we had a great launch last night, um, got some exposure uh, with the Rams guys and now obviously um, trying to cement further exposure during the year and, and help their brand and, and, and drive some business for them. And of course, Top Better coming on as a broadcast partner for Bar TV this year as well. There'll be fantasy tournaments around the NHRU as well, which, which I know you're looking forward to. Oh, look, uh, look at you, when you and I spoke uh, 14, 15 months ago, you know, we wanted to bring in tipping competition. Um, we believe the comp could support it and have some, uh, some more interest into it, margins, players. It's, I think it's really important. Yeah, definitely for sure. And you mentioned Bill, Bill Pulver. He was here last night at his best. He, he was really good. He was animated and he, he was up for it. Oh, he, uh, he's very good in those environments, isn't it? And he was uh, very good to uh, when, he, when he first introduced himself to say that he was open to any question from the floor and there were no holds barred. We, but probably the crowd was a bit soft on him, I thought. I, I was expecting some hard-hitting questions from the Newcastle rugby public, but they were very quiet. Well, he is a very good public speaker and we'll have a look at the interview uh, with him right now that we had a good chance to talk to Bill Pulver, CEO of the ARU. With us right now, Bill Pulver. Bill. How's the state of Newcastle rugby looking after that? Well, look, having been here tonight, listened to such a, an incredibly enthusiastic group of rugby fans, I say it's in pretty good shape. Yeah, definitely, and thanks for coming up here, first and foremost. You, you mentioned a few things about grassroots rugby. Where do you see the Newcastle competition in the whole scheme of things? Look, this is a really important part of the entire rugby pathway, right? You've got a really vibrant competition in Newcastle and the Hunter, and, you know, we, I mean, you've had connections to Sydney in the past, you know, we've, we've had NRC games here, we've had, you know, sadly a defeat by Scotland up here, we've had a great British Lions game up here, so this is a really important part of country rugby, the most important part of New South Wales country rugby, we want to engage a lot more with. And definitely, it's a big year with rugby, with the World Cup, uh, sorry, the Olympics coming on board, you're very vibrant about that one too. Yeah, look, it's a massive year, we had a great Sydney Sevens event, the new 18-team Super Rugby comp's going well. First time ever we'll have three England tests in Australia. Um, we then got the Olympics, men's and women's sevens, and the Rugby Championship, Bledisloe Cup, and a Grand Slam tour. So 16 is a massive year of rugby. Yeah, very good. And you mentioned the Wanderers in your, in your little speech there. Have you changed your mind? You know, I, I believe I made a mistake. Hamilton actually won the comp. Somebody could have helped me out on that, but no, I had a look at the competition ladder today, and obviously the Wanderers and Hamilton have been two dominant teams. I really hope the likes of Singleton at the bottom of the ladder win a few more games this year. Well, plenty of heritage up in Singleton with Steve Merrick, obviously. And Newcastle, I think, have provided the most Australian Wallaby halfbacks out of any other region. You've got this incredible run. I think your most recent Wallaby was Luke Burgess, who was a halfback. You know, you've, you've got five or six of your 25 Wallabies that played halfback. So just an incredible little history there. Very good. Thanks for coming up and thanks for joining us on Bar TV. Look, my pleasure. And you're doing a great job, mate. So keep it up. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Well, we're back, and of course, Bill Pulver loving everything Bar TV is doing, and good good faith in the NHRU competition, the Rams NHRU Premiership. Exactly, the Rams Premiership. That's right, and I guess a lot of things came to the fore last night at the, at the launch. One was the player point system. Do you think it's working, and do you think it's it's going to be tweaked, or, or what's happening with that? Well, I think look, I think the second iteration, which is this year, so it came in for the first time last year. Um, it, certainly, we learnt that it was too complex, um, and probably uh, too many categories, and foc didn't quite focus on the areas we we're we're after to tighten up. So the second iteration, we think it's easier to administer, both at club land and at and at our level. Um, the the points cap has has also dropped a little bit this year, so it dropped from 30 points to 24 points. Um, the other big change is that all players, if, if you're non-local to your club, doesn't matter what your ability is, you're three points. Whereas last year you could have been anything from, from zero points up to six. So we've made it a lot simpler. Um, we've also dropped the cap down to, to P, uh, Premier 2s this year as well. There wasn't a cap on P2s last year. Um, I think in terms of um, uh, driving change, I think it will take another one or two seasons to, you know, why the current first and second graders go through clubs before you get the real step change, but we believe um, the change is right. Um, it, the, the point system doesn't cease um, importing, but it, it restricts it. And, and we believe if you restrict importing, um, it, it, you know, focus on grassroots rugby and development of your juniors and development of local talent um, uh, will come to the fore, which is important. Yeah, definitely local talent is important, but of course the, the Rams NHRU, it's attracted some good calibre of players from around the world indeed and it is yep. a global competition yep. now it's a global I guess brand rugby yep. in itself uh, how do you how do you suppose like people coming to to the competition yep. 
and how do they fit in and how do we attract top level players? So because I think, yeah. sorry to cut you off. I will all right, Gary. Right. Well, all right. All season I'm here. All season. I, I think we can <laughs> probably, when I lift the standard of the competition with with coverage and and the more people that come, the stronger the competition is. You spoke about the balance. How how do we get that balance? Well, at the moment, if you look at the point system this year. Um, Premier One sides can have eight um, imported players out of a, a 15 that take the field and, and another eight reserves. Eight out of that, it's, it's a, still a fair percentage. So we believe there's still movement to bring in positions that you may be short in terms of front row or bring in better talent um, uh, to lift the standard of, of your side as well. We think that's a, a, a large amount of scope. And if we look at the top three or four, four clubs and look at... Um, their, their, their player points as they've lodged them, they're certainly u- using those spots to, to um, have, have those players to the comp. So we believe that, that higher level players can still play in the comp um, under the current point system. There, there's movement to do it. Yeah, definitely. There, there certainly is. And a couple of players last night, or a couple of coaches, sorry, on the forum last night, there's a bit of toing and froing going on around that player point system. Let's have a look at it now. Yes, well, definitely no love lost there between the Hamilton coach, Bubba Coleman, and Stacey Sox. It'll be interesting when those two sides, more poaching than the cockatoos behind us there, Andy. Well, look, the reason they were on the panel was because most people believe Scott Bubba Coleman is the chief consultant to the NHRU on other, other, other clubs' PPS positions, and he does seem to know a lot. And then, obviously, with Stacey coming back into Merriweather, they have imported a lot this year. So, points versus points when those two clubs play, I'd say. <laughs> Very good. Controversial early on, Andy. I like that. You might get another start here, mate. Anyway, we're going to have a quick round preview. The match of the round on Bar TV Sports, live at 3 o'clock. Looking forward to getting amongst it and commentating it. It's Waratah versus Uni. Of course, Waratah, reasonably slow starters throughout the year. They don't get too many to, to training, while Uni... You know, they've, they've got rid of the hogs and got the uni- unicorn in, in Mark O'Brien. So I expect a grinding style of rugby in this game, but they should throw it around with some young outside backs. I think, uh, I think uni will be much improved this year. I think they got into the gym earlier than previous seasons and, and might be their uh, coaching. I, I probably, I'm impartial, but I probably lead, my tip would be uni if I was in that tipping competition, my tip would be uni. Really? Yes, uni. My, my tip would be uni at this start of the season. Moritars will warm into it. Well, Matt Chigi, he's, he's definitely a cranky man. He's going to be cranky at hearing that one out there on, on Ruck Off. <laughs> I look forward to seeing him in the judiciary session. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Of course, we are covering the judi- judiciary, and judiciary watch. in our segment next week. Judiciary Watch. Insight. Insight. Signing commissioners. What, what can we call it? If you, can judici- think of, uh, if you can think of a name out there on Bar TV, sports, hashtag Ruck Off, let us know what you think. The second game of the round, Wanderers. Uh, v Singleton, of course, Wanderers, very well drilled by their coach, Todd Lowder. In fact, I think they call him Makita, such as his prowess in, in drill skills. Look, I understand Todd's stepped back a little bit from the club club this year, so um, it's probably under Viv's uh, stewardship now. Um, look, they, they all the clubs told me last year they loved the bus trip up to Singleton. Um, and the aftermatch. I can attest for that. We used to have green ju- green stones, ginger wine on the way up. To on the way on the way up. Well, in in my day, uh, no one liked going to Singleton because you, you'd get normally get belted. And Stacy Socks is a breakaway in my day, and he used to belt 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 us when we were up there as well. Um, well, I used to get belted on the way up and the way up. <laughs> <laughs> right, look, 
it's going to be an interesting. Singleton will be improved from um, last year. Obviously, Wanderers is a, a you know people are saying top three. If there was ever a chance to uh, to ambush the, the the two blues, it would probably be the first round. Well, I'm thinking Singleton. You know, there's, there's been a lot of. You know, they can't use the excuse this year of, of shift work and all that because all the mines are being shut down <laughs> by the big multinationals up there taking their, their profits and their taxes overseas. So I think Singleton will, will gather around and, and really combine for that. And so you're tipping Singleton? I'm tipping Singleton this week. And you can put that on your top tip of fantasy <laughs> tips as well. And then the next match we've got coming up, Lake Macquarie uh, v Hamilton out at the lake. The Western Lake Macquarie lads, they, they look good. I'm told they've got a very big pack. I've heard very big four pack. And again, I understand the battle of the points. Both similar um, similar uh, import levels and similar player points. And, Plus uh, 50%. <laughs> well, I, I don't believe from the, the points that they've submitted uh, for the team, team sheets, I don't believe that they've delved into that uh, 50% loading that it's, they have. It's almost a reverse stock take, isn't it? <laughs> where you, where you, instead of taking 50% off, you give 50%. <laughs> You stumped me on that one. I can't, I can't answer that one. But battle of the points. Well, rumoured very big four pack. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Hamilton. You know, they've they've got a good chance this year to go back to back. I think. You know, if, if they're going to go back to back, you heard it, heard it here first in ruck off. They will probably go back to back because Bubba Coleman, he he has got his his brother to fall back on in the country. He can set up and he's probably going to bring a few of those coaching skills. It's a good thing for Newcastle rugby back into the competition and of course. Uh, Barbara is the better of the, the two coaches in the family. Yeah, well, I understand. I don't think the the game plans come back from the old, the Darren. I hear they go the other way. Yeah. I think <laughs> Bubba sends them to Darren. Well, he's got the wood over him in the sevens as well, would well, you believe? He, he's well, he's that's two from two. Well, that's controversial. There's a little rule about what comp you're going to after two rounds or something, isn't there, in the Hamilton sevens? There's this little rule <laughs> about know. going to the country, Paul, isn't there? Uh, I've got, I, <laughs> I'm not too sure about rules and innuendo, Andy. I'm not going <laughs> to attest to that one, mate. Anyway, we've got Southern Beaches v Maitland as well. That, that should be a pretty good game. Th th this match has been very close over the last couple of years, and it's one that is very physical as well. well interesting match. I think it'll be very, very close. Uh, Southern Beaches have lost a couple of players with, with Tim moving over to, to Lake Macquarie. Uh, Maitland uh, had the most amount of losses within seven points last year in, in Premier One, so they, uh, they, they were very close last year. Um, uh, I think they'll be improved as well. Pretty close to match of the round. Almost. Almost match almost, of the round almost. on Bar TV Sports. Almost. We, all, almost. We, had to, we had to rock, paper, scissors we, in the office. We did. And, and, we, and because Maitland had got that do with Singleton and that home game, that's, that's their match of the round. But, geez, it was close. It was very close. close and it should yeah. be a good game out there if you can get along to the new facility at Gateshead. It's, a, it's an absolute cracker. And, of course, the last game, we've got Nelson Bay taking on Mirror of the Carton. The Groper Dome sees Premier Rugby. It's my favourite place to watch rugby out at Nelson Bay there. Well, ex-president. John Edmonds will be up there having a drink, watching over it. Stacey Sykes mentioned last night on the panel that it's um, a game to be wary of. Um, Rumoured where weather stronger this year, uh, but Nelson Bay looked to be quite, uh, running a pretty tight ship up there as well. Um, so it will be interesting. But, uh, 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 you know, merry weather need to be on. They, they've got to respect the opposition there, I think. Well, they're taking it a little bit more serious this year. The last few years, they've gone up there, they've had a surfing competition in the morning against the <laughs> Nelson Bay guys. That's been scrapped under the, the guise of Stacey Sykes, and they've instilled some really hard-working culture. Again, of course, Nelson Bay, though, I think they, they might spring a little surprise at the Groper Dome. Are you tipping them? On top better, I will be tipping Nelson Bay to win that one at the Groper Dome at home. In any case, it is the Rams NHRU Premiership. We had a good chat to the Nelson Bay coach last night at the season launch. Here it is. Excellent. Well, Adam, you're one of the younger coaches in the competition this year. You feel any pressure about that? Yeah, a little bit, I suppose, but I just try to, um, you know, keep it casual, you know, uh, look after the players that we've got and uh, not make it too, too serious, not at this stage, you know, as it is, uh, first year coaching, so, yeah, like you say, a little bit, in the hot seat a little bit, but, yeah. Well, well teams, uh, the Groper Dome's one of those places that people are always hesitant of coming. Are you going to make it the fortress that it once was? Yeah, we're trying to, that's one of our goals for the season, is to make it a fortress, like it once was. Um, you know, it, it, is, it is a hard place to come to. Um, you know, we always seem to get a few close losses. We never seem to get flogged there, which is really, really good. But, um, yeah, we're really looking to make uh, just uh, some consistency through the season, you know what I mean? Um, the, the away games are just as important as the home games, so, yeah. Yep. 
Uh, we've mentioned, of course, Hamilton and the big three this year. Uh, what are the other teams that think are going to challenge you for, for the fourth or fifth spot, I guess? Yeah, I haven't had a look too much at the other squads, but um, I think Uni will be right up there. They seem to have a fair bit of depth. Um, you know, Lake Macquarie, the beaches, the Maitland boys are always hard and, and you still can't write off the Singleton guys, you know. Um, they're, they're from the bush, they're hard as nails, they always bring their A game. You know, they'll they probably have a few results go against them. But um, yeah, so across the board we're sort of just trying to take it one game at a time, I suppose. Very good, all the best for the year, mate. Cheers, mate, thank you. So of course there's a few things happening in Ruckoff this year around. We've got a couple of segments, as we mentioned, the siding um, commissioner, we'll have a chat to him each week to see who's in, who's out, who's suspended. I'm really looking forward to that one. Of course, we're, we're going to run the highlight of the week, and we're going to name it after this highlight you're just about to watch now. He's a cult hero in the in the Rams NHRU, and he's one of my favourite players, one of my favourite men actually. He's kicked me out of fannies <laughs> on plenty of times. I'm going to call this award the Nigel Award for highlight of the week, and here we go. We look at the highlight because he won the the highlight of the year last year on Bar TV Sports. This is the Nigel Award. Well, that's it for the first edition of Ruck Off. Hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed it. Of course, if you do want to get involved with it, hashtag Ruck Off on Twitter. Uh, give us an email, let us know what you want to see, who, who we want to feature, if there's any special stories across all divisions, all grades in the Rams NHRU 2016 program. Any last words before you probably lose your job, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> Big thank you to Rams. <laughs> Big thank you to Rams for the next three years and uh, looking forward to uh, Bar TV's involvement this year and, and the Ruck Off show. Certainly a first for, um, for zones like us in, in rugby and uh, I think we're ahead of the curve. We're going down this route, so pretty happy where we're heading. Yeah, definitely. And I'll be coming to you live with the match of the round each week at your ground. Of course, we'll be bringing Ruck off to all the grounds this year. So we look forward to seeing you soon and showcasing your club. And right now, as all good rugby players do, I'm going to get naked. Bar TV Sports would like to thank Top Better. Get in the game at topbetter.com.au. And Cornelia's Crump, the Bar TV Sports beverage of choice. And Rams Loans for supporting the 2016 NHRU Premiership.